Morning, even afternoon, Tim and Tatman too. We got a banger for you today, baby. What we got for you here is me talking about two mistakes that I think people are making in regards to content creation when they first start out. And that can be streaming or even, you know, YouTube. After I talked about this, a lot of people said that they appreciated the insight. So I figured we'd make a little video on it. If you enjoyed this, drop a like, share it with a friend, sub if not yet. Most importantly though, be sure to tell somebody you love them. All right, I'll catch you in the next one. I need to get used to doing this because I'm gonna be doing this a lot in MLG Columbus. So I figured, you know, why not start with a setup video? So I'm gonna show you guys what everything is behind the scenes of the Tatman Army. Ready? Eight. Why did I talk like that? Good question, I'll answer it. I didn't think I was gonna make it as a streamer. And I thought that maybe, just maybe, I could be a Call of Duty caster. So I thought that if maybe I could talk like I was like a caster a little bit and almost have like a radio voice, you know what I mean? That maybe the Call of Duty or MLG at the time would like offer me a job. Yeah, here we go. Right here, we have the beautiful, beautiful television Xbox setup. This the TV, Spectre, bro. I have no idea what a Spectre is, honestly. I heard about it. It was like, I don't know, a $200 TV, 720p. It's honestly pretty decent quality, but nothing crazy. Down below that, you guys see my Xbox 360 along with my controllers and games. Nothing crazy for the controller. Man, dude, it's like... You know, I, 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 my setup today is not that impressive, you know what I mean? But it is really fun to look back and remember the original setup I had. This was my original setup. I got the default, if you will. Uh, right on top of the Xbox 360, that is my Hapog HD PVR. Um, that is donated to me by Mr. One of my viewers from my stream. Thank you so much for that again, Mr. I cannot thank you enough for that, buddy. Um, coming up over here on this side of the gaming setup is... Look at this thing. Brother, I look like that keyboard was like $7. Let me actually, I'm gonna actually price everything I have here. That keyboard was like $5. The mouse in the Logitech, uh, um, it was a Logitech mouse, that was like 10. The headset was a gift to me from my friend, Triton's. Um, the one monitor was probably 120 bucks, something like that. Uh, this laptop was what I used in college. It was my college laptop. I had it for four or five years. I was a, t I was a side note, I was a, a, a server first Deathwing kill alliance side on this laptop. This chair, do you see this chair in the bottom left, bro? This chair has a huge story. This chair I saw in a dumpster and I didn't have a chair <laughs> and I decided that I was gonna take the chair and I did I literally took this chair out of a dumpster that was the first chair I ever sat in the original is my actual computer and Cla Claudia was the name of that computer right there Claudia uh, my original computer I sunk a thousand dollars into Claudia Man, talk about a good investment, Hutcha. Huh, Look at us now. The original, the original streaming PC, dude. I've actually said this before. I should take my, I, 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 if I can find where I put, I think I know where my original PC is. I think, I actually think it's in New York still. If I could like take my, ori I, I should make like a, make a shrine of my original computer with like water features and, like maybe imprint a Lamborghini logo on the original computer because this this is the original this was the original computer that powered everything you know what I mean when I was streaming when I was doing everything bro that was it that was it right there side of the gaming setup is my actual computer and what actually Look at that streams chair, bro. everything Literally. Um, oh, up here God. we have the webcam. <laughs> Duct tape specialty, might I add? Yeah, if duct tape can't fix it, then nothing will. That's our motto here in upstate New York. So I do have a duct tape to the wall because YOLO and stuff, and it works fine. So Kappa. I think we're good, right? You guys good? I'm good. I don't gotta watch anymore. It's like hard for me to watch some some of like my old videos. And it's <laughs> it, you know. I'm not going to I'm not going to apologize and say wow I'm so cringy. You know, I'm not going to. But I I really I'm 31 now when I when I was recording this, let me look. It was October 3rd, 2013, so I was 23. And 
you know, man, a lot changes in a decade. I definitely grew up a lot. When I first started streaming, I, I was this young kid. I call myself a kid, and I do consider like a 23-year-old a kid now. And it, and it is funny how different I am from 23 to now 31, right? It, it, I'm about to be 32, bro. I'm about to be 32 years old this year. And, uh, bro, it's hard for me to watch some of these videos, bro. It's so cringy, dude. Uh, this is my laptop. This is what I actually read the chat on. I am unable to have dual monitors because I'm poor. So you know, that actually makes Don't worry, Tim. You have a $10,000 TV now, buddy. Makes no sense. Yeah, Tim buys laptop because it doesn't have dual monitors. <laughs> yeah. So anywho, I did have this for a really long time. And so this so this this thing, this, this, this fucking laptop was like a four to five year old laptop I played WoW on. This thing was just beat to shit. But hey, it worked. This is what I'm actually reading the chat on. This is my actual computer that I built roughly last October. It cost me about a grand in total. Uh, the monitor is an Acer 1080p. Uh, beautiful monitor, about 22 inches. I love playing games on this thing. It's crystal clear. <laughs> oh, dude, you know what, man? If you can't laugh at yourself, who can you laugh at, dude? You know what I mean? Uh, it's it is crystal, dude. Crystal clear, bro. It is just the clearest thing I've ever seen, man. Um, this is my Logitech keyboard. K120, nothing crazy. I think it was about eight bucks, and I have a Logitech <laughs> mouse. I honestly don't even know which one it is, but it was also very, very cheap. Oh. That is a Steel Series gaming mouse pad to make myself feel like a good gamer. And uh, those are my Triton headsets. You guys know all about those, and I cannot thank. Th my, my buddy Tay gave it to me. And he, he was like, here you go, buddy. And I said, thank you. Thank my buddy enough for selling me those for like super cheap. They're awesome. He gave them to you too. Last but not least, we do have my tower. Guys, this is Tabman Army. If you've never met my tower. Homie, watch my camera work here. Tower, this is Claudia. Claudia the computer. Claudia is what goes, <laughs> what makes the Tabman Army run, essentially. I'll post the specs of what is actually inside Claudia this. on this video so you guys are able to tell. She's a beast of a computer. Uh, like I said, roughly cost me about $1,000. I do not know if you guys can actually see in there. I'm not very good at recording, but you know. Good job, Timbo. Good camera angle, bro. What was the specs? It's actually a good question. All right, I got the specs right here. You guys ready? Core i5-3570, 3.5 gigahertz. AS Rock Intel Z77 Extreme 6. 8 gigs of DDR3 1600 RAM. 1 terabyte hard drive. Good call, Tim. NVIDIA GeForce GTX 660 FTW edition. I don't even know if that's a real thing. And then a 600 watt power supply. That was the first computer I ever built. It was $1,000 and Claudia, that's what I named the computer, was the, was the origin and what really, you know, developed my community. She, she did. It stands for for the win. Okay, well, I didn't know that. I didn't want to assume, you know what I mean? Um, you know, what's kind of like an interesting, I've looked back on my setup video before when I, I, you know, obviously I'm really cringy, but, um, I'm really trying to like do some math here and try and guess how much money I had in my first setup total. I'm trying to remember, cause that here, let me look That TV was like $150 Xbox. I had this thing for literally, I played, uh, I can't remember which call of duty was Xbox 360. Was that Modern Warfare 2? Modern Warfare 2 chat? I played Modern Warfare 2 on that Xbox, by the way. 200, that Xbox was probably like, I mean, bro, you're probably looking at a total like in here on my setup of $1,500. If I had to ballpark, I like I said, I literally stole this. I literally stole this chair from a dumpster. The table was $20 at Target. I mean, bro, I look at my camera. That's the first camera I ever used. That's the little 720 Logitech. And instead of trying to like mount it or something, bro, I literally duct taped it to the wall. <laughs> you know what I think is actually really important that I'm, I'm really actually reflecting on here after watching this, bro? And this could be a message to a lot of creators. You don't need the top of the line everything to get started. You don't. I was all in here. I find a ballpark, like I said, probably 1500. That's kind of the amount of money. That's like for, I'm not going to count the laptop because I had that for four to five years. That was like a hand-me-down almost, right? And then 
like as far as everything goes on my gaming setup, bro, f I, probably 1500 bucks. I use the microphone. I use the microphone on my headset. One thing that I see a lot of creators do that I think is a huge mistake. I, there's two real big things, bro. One, one is I need the top of the line everything. I need awesome LED lights. I need um, eight monitors. I need four, like three computers. I, I need the, you know, a moving camera. It's like, like this camera and stuff like that. Y'all guys, if you're guys and girls, bro, if you're starting out, you don't need all that. What I would recommend doing personally, spend spend a little bit of money, see if you like it. Yeah, six consoles. Yeah, right. But it's like, see if you enjoy it, bro. Because ultimately, you could spend. I mean, how much money could you spend? You you could drop like five to ten k. But what if you end up not liking streaming or content creation? I, it's a huge mistake that I see a lot of people do when they're first starting. Is like, okay. And obviously, it's your money, right? If you ha if you're rich, if you're like Tim, I make f three million dollars a year. Uh, it's like cool, man. And if you if you want to throw you know any, a sick setup stuff like that, and you want to spend a ton of money, and you know twenty thousand dollar computer, go for it, right? I'm not telling you. I'm not telling you that. I'm not telling you not to do that. But I, I do think it's a mistake because, bro, you could have the best stuff but you can not like making content. <laughs> That's just a giant waste for everyone at that point. You're well, for yourself. I, I think one thing that I really actually just kind of, I took away from that was looking back at how simple my setup was. And to be completely honest with you guys, you can ask whips about this too. My setup to this day is still one of the most simple setups you're gonna see. I, I, don't, I don't put a ton of money into my setup. I don't. I, I, Whips just said he, he literally has a better setup than me. I have three monitors. I have that camera. Whips put these fancy lights in here. I don't really know what those are for. I have a desk and that's it. I have two computers. That's what I got. It's, I, I, I am a very simple man. I have had these panels on my wall since I moved in and I'm just going to keep them here because I think they're a nice aesthetic. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I'm, not, I'm not doing a setup video because there's literally nothing to show. But here's the reason I'm talking about this is because I do think a lot of newer content creators make a huge mistake. And that mistake is sinking a ton of money into your setup thinking, oh, Tim has this really nice microphone. I need this really, really nice mic. You don't. And, I, and an example of just why I don't think you do, if XQC was using a headset microphone, everyone's still gonna watch him because they love watching XQC. People don't watch XQC because his microphone is a great microphone, right? You don't need this. That's kind of the point I'm trying to make here. Obviously, XQ is, I mean, arguably, biggest streamer on Twitch. I would borderline say that right now. Uh, XQ, but people aren't watching him because he has this sick setup and he has all this fancy stuff. Like, dude, look at how simple of a setup he has. And he's arguably, I think you could argue XQC is the biggest and has the highest viewership on Twitch right now. And um, and look at look at my bro, Nick Merckx. He still uses a headset mic. I mean, he, true, he does have a $100,000 gaming, you know, basement that he made that, he doesn't live in anymore because he lives in Florida. That that is true. I'm not. Yeah, I'm not. You know, obviously, you spend a lot of money there, but he still uses a headset mic. You don't. You, and the bottom line is, just you don't need this microphone. You don't need this mic. You don't need this good of a camera. You don't need it, bro. Try it out. Give it a shot. I think some of the best content creators have some of the shittiest setups. Tyler one, bro. Tyler one, it's fucking comedy. I I think borderline one of my favorite and funniest streamers. Well, I don't. I don't even like League of Legends. I know, but I'll watch Tyler. And it's the same kind of thing, man. I, I, it's such a big mistake that I think a lot of new creators make is just sinking and sinking money into this new stuff. Oh, I'm going to get the coolest lights. I'm going to hit a button and the and lights are going to change color. And would you guys care if I got like lights behind me that I hit a button and they like change color? You wouldn't care. You don't need that. So the, the other thing I would say while talking about another mistake, I think a lot of newer content creators make 
I think people take the leap to go full time too soon. I do. And I'm not telling you not to chase your dreams. I'm not. What I'm telling you is, as someone that's a bit older in this space, you got to make sure that you'll be okay if it doesn't work out. And just to give you an example, when I went, when, when I went full-time and I took a leap to try and go full-time, this is eight years ago now, right? I kind of had a goal in my head as far as my subscribers go, and I did the math because I, I had student loans and I had some different stuff that I had to make sure that I was going to be okay with, you know what I'm saying? And I'd be able to, you know, survive. So I had a subscriber goal. I think the goal was, God, I want to say it was like 1,500. 1,500 subs would basically mathematically cover like my rent, the student loans. I, I kind of budgeted everything out. I did math. Okay, let me rephrase. I had a friend that helped me do the math because obviously I'm pretty stupid. But um, it was 1,500 or 2,000. That was kind of the goal. And we hit it. We did. We hit 2,000 subs and I decided I'm going to try and go full time. I did. And um, I also saved a lot of money up to that point from my old job. And just to be clear here, at my old job, I was making $32,000 a year. No, thir about 30. That's what I was making. So I basically, I had, you know, I had some reserve money that if it flopped, I could go back to my job. I could go get my job back because I had a great relationship with my boss. And on top of that, uh, I would be okay for like a month. That was kind of that. And I think what a lot of, here's what I see a lot of content creators do. They're at jobs and they're working and they say, you know what? I got, I mean, I, bro, I see people nowadays with 100 to 200 subscribers going full time. And I'm going to say, if you can live on that and you're able to, use your budget well and your all of your expenses are paid and you can go full-time with 200 subscribers by all means right if that works for you but if that's going to put strain on you and i'm also going to say this if that's going to put strain on your community and what i mean by that is you have some viewers watching and you're like man we're falling under uh 200 subs i'm not gonna be able to go full-time anymore and then there's a person that gives a lot of subs and then that person's like, well, I can give some more subs. It, it, it's, it's this weird dynamic of, um, it can literally put strain on both of your lives, bro. The person as someone that's watching. And then on top of that, as someone that's trying to do it full time, I think that's another really big mistake that a lot of streamers make. All, all I would say is make sure you're okay. Financially have a plan in case it don't work out and chase your dream. But don't just jump into it with no plan. You got to have some goals. And I say this now as an old guy, right? I'm 31 now and I'm about to be 32 and I've been doing this for a little while. And I think back to when I kind of took a leap to go full time in the safety nets. That's the word I would use that if it flopped, I'd be okay. Thank God and thank y'all that it didn't flop. I'm very happy to be here. But um, I really... You know, I just, I hope, I, obviously a ton of people want to do this. You know what I mean? A lot of people want to be able to just play video games full time, right? And it's not just that simple, but to a lot of people, it seems that way. But uh, just, you got to be careful, man. And those two, those two little things, I think a lot of newer content creators make a mistake with. So maybe that helps someone today. That'd be great. That'd be great if that actually helped someone. If one random person was about to go full time or something and, or and, and they maybe they felt encouraged to take the leap or they're like, well, I'm gonna make a couple more safety nets that I'd be okay with. That's good. Oh, you watch here for Kevin? Yeah, it's good. Thanks guys.